Hello, Scott Manley here. No, I'm just kidding. It's me, guys. What's up? You know, Kamisha, doing what I normally do. That's right, that's right. In the previous episodes of the great saga of Marag of Moray, because, I mean, let's be honest, CB died way too early and is not interesting at all. What's really interesting is this woman. This woman right here, Countess Morag of Moray. At only the age of 20, not only has she become one of the most powerful countesses and or counts in the entire world, but she's also done a lot of, you know, she's like completely survived some crazy assassination attempts and so on and so forth. And to add on, she has had the sweetest of daughter, Ilian Noir. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Ilian Lianwa Cambrodian, whatever the daughter of Morag. Uh, yes, that's that's what she is. She's only two years old. She's just looking quite beautiful. Look at her, look at her cute little face. Oh yes, yeah, she's precious. She's so precious. Anyway, so we're gonna press play, and we're gonna let some shit happen. By the way, in the time that I have since. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta see something. I caught my half-sister Moina lying to me again, straight to my face, without batting an eye. I almost had an innocent servant sent to the stocks. Now, we could say, even I am impressed, dear Moina. Or we could say, with the birch, she will speak the truth, or talk to her about honesty. And there's a 50% chance she will become honest, or pray that the Blessed Virgin will show her the light. Hey, we're gonna give a talk to her about honesty. Oh, look, she became honest. Good job, Moina. Oh, Moina does not like me. Ooh, no, she doesn't. Because apparently the Lee, my Lee, or her Morag, sorry, Morag and Moray is both proud, slothful. Wait, but I'm, but I'm honest. Shouldn't you like me for that? Because I'm honest. Come on, come on, come on, child. Dearest, dearest Moina. Uh, kind of like Chancellor, I thought Bishop Ross of Fortin Gaul has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to blah, 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 blah. All right, anyway, so things are happening, and uh, something I want to go ahead and point out is I did, by the Way of Life DLC, because I figured, hey, since we're playing this, and we're all having fun and excitement, I figure, why the fuck not? You know what I mean? So, with that in mind, what should we go for? Should we go the path of seduction? Or maybe the path of intrigue? Maybe, just maybe, we should do the path of holiness theology, or the path of scholarship, maybe? There are so many paths to go, but I think, trying to deal with her issue, she's going to go cruising. Oh yes, so we can go partying. No, Morag of Moray is a warrior, and as such, she takes an interest in killing God's creatures. Sweet. Henry Thor's decided to go ahead and use claim on the title. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, what a, what a drick. So we should clearly deal with this asshole. All right, we're going to, we're going to, we to, I should probably improve my relations within my own county because my people don't like me. And probably because I'm a female ruler and uh, I have a female heir. Moina is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward half-sister? No, we wanted to be just. Lose that trait. That trait sucks. It's the strap for her. You know, we should actually make her really, really shitty. You know, it makes sense, right? I mean, think about it. Like, she grows up, she might cause problems in the future to our sweet, sweet daughter. But even then, do we want our daughter to be the next heir? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should marry old Morag of Moray off to some... Foolish, retarded man. How about this guy? Ole, Chancellor of Moray. He's 30 years old. Uh, what are his stats? Oh, they suck. Uh, everybody's stats suck here. Man. I don't know. I could go with Teloa, but he's 57 years old. I need a better batch of individuals. Shall we invite one? Maybe. God, even my generals don't like me. Oh, goodness. That's not good. I think we need to play it safe. What do you guys think? Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get married. Let's just marry somebody. Morag of Moray. Who? Ah, oh, God. Eh, hey, he's a coward, though. Eh, whatever. We're gonna marry to the 50-year-old man. Naturalineal. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Give me, give me your goodies, big man. Um, who are you? Gillespie? Eh, no, no. I rule in the county of Moray. Fuck you. 
basically, is what I said. Because I am Morag of Moray. Yes, yes, and my husband is old. He is so old, he's 37 years older than me. Oh, that is just one big bucket of no bueno. But whatever. We will just have to do what we can with what we have. Yes, 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 yes. Aside from that, it looks like we're basically just going to be skipping ahead until stuff happens. Ah, the birth of assassins. Word is spreading that a Shia missionary, Hassani Sabah, has founded a religious order known as the Hashashin, somewhere in western Persia. Using trickery and guile, this mysterious cult of trained killers has seized control of the mountain fortress of Alamut and converted it to their headquarters. Already a string of violent murders can be traced back to Hassan's devoted and fearless disciples. These hashish smokers are harmless! They're harmless to our dearest countess, that's for damn sure. They will never, ever threaten her life because she's a total badass. I mean, look at her. She just looks badass. Look at this. She like, look at that jawline. That jawline is just screaming, oh, I am going to poke your eye out with a fork, you dirty bastards. Ah, another event. My boring old husband, Talor, told me his obligations are, are, that's, that's spelling error, I think, yes. Obligations are more important than my well-being. He might be right, though. I should probably try and find a friend among the courtiers. Absolutely not, you dirty bastard! I am the Countess! You can't... What is this? What is this? More important, you have the gations. The only obligation you have, man, is to give me children! That is literally your only obligation, aside from being a spy master, commander, and the Earl of Moray. Those are the big things, too. But aside from that, you dirty bastard, you're meant only to give me eligible children of my demons. That's right. People just get all uppity nowadays. The Merry Men of Moray. My sheriff came to me today, looking harried and limping slightly. My lord. I fear I have grave news. A band of robbers and poachers, calling themselves the Merry Men of Moray, are on the loose in your forest. I have tried to find them, but last to no avail. They chased me out of the forest several times. The last time an arrow hit me straight in my buttocks. Oh my, I just, oh, that's so terrible, that's so terrible. <laughs> Sorry, do go on. I could take the prestige. Or we could do, we need to set a trap for them with a 25% chance to become diligent. And a 40% chance the merry men make a move. <laughs> Alliteration. Seriously, though. Or ignore them. No, we're not going to ignore them. We're going to say blah, 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 blah. Do go on. Ah, oh, bastards. They didn't do anything. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I gave up that diligent possible perk for nothing. For absolutely nothing. So, let me tell you what I am planning, dear comrades. I am planning a war against those of a Thul. That's right. It seems like we can get some relatively cheap armies to help us fight, should we need them. You know what we could do? We could actually hire these guys first and uh, send them to fight against the, uh, the, 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 the dirty Thole warriors. Because look, he's actually got a levy of 2.2. That's kind of big. He's actually got a big. How'd he get. How'd he got some men. How'd he do that? Huh? You ambitious little bastard. Huh. Well, anyway, like I said, we could get mercenaries because our armies are not big enough to fight him and our vassals are a bunch of assholes. So they're not going to get involved anyway. Yes, I don't know. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Although, I do believe that I basically need to fabricate a claim on him. I could do a war of aggression. But people sure don't like that. The White Stag. Lately, you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wild that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a White Stag. Powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world, and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power! Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna send people to find it. Yes, let's find this white stag. And we shall make it part of our own. We could try attacking the Catans. Eh? 
Eh? Cantonese? Cantonese? Is it Cantonese or is it Catans? I think it's Cantonese. Something tells me it is. Good news, my lady! We have received credible reports of a recent sight in the Great White Stag in the province of Ross. Saddle my horse, you fool! We will bring this bastard down! It's a trap! My sheriff and I discussed what we should do about the outlaws and came up with two ideas. Every man and woman who had been harassed by the bandits, including the sheriff, had been told about the leader's skill with a bow. An archery contest might lay him out of his beloved forest. Another option would be to use a disguise to find the villain and bring him to the court. Mm, that is too risky. Or an archery contest, of course! Uh, a clever disguise should work. How about an archery contest? Let's do that and see what happens. Archery. The day was perfect for an archery contest. The sun hid between clouds. A small breeze cooled the nervous. And everyone seemed happy. The targets were set and ready. All that was needed now was my signal. Let the contest begin. And nothing happened. The old man. Nothing. Nothing. The old man. The other contestants and I laughed hard as the old man tried to draw the bow with shaking hands. After several attempts, he finally succeeded. He closed one of his runny eyes and thud, it hit the bullseye. Everyone's chin hit the ground as the old man defeated his contestants one by one. The poacher we had set the trap for was nowhere to be seen. So I had to grumpily give the old man his admittedly well-earned prize. A golden arrow. Hmm, well this sounds very familiar. What happened? It was a success and a failure. That didn't work. Frustration swept through my veins as the archery contest proved unsex- Unsexful. Unsexful. Unsuccessful in luring and trapping the elusive poacher. Perhaps we should try something else. We could leave him and his gang alone. Oh, a smelly peasant should not arouse the suspicion. Yeah, let's try that one. Devil in disguise, I remove my beautiful fur line coat and reluctantly ease myself into peasant sticking clothes, a woolen tunic, a small hat, and muddy boots completed my disguise. Now, me own ma wouldn't recognize me. Now, let's see how this would work. Is this really befitting a countess? That's a very good question. Well, let's see how this works. Hopefully, I don't get violated. Disguise revealed. I had not taken one step into the grave forest before an arrow buried itself in the ground just in front of my toes. I froze for a short second before I started struggling to see it my own sword out of a tiny place. When I finally freed my sword, a man clad in green stood before me. He held the greatest bow I have ever seen with an arrow on its string aimed at me. Leave, he said, and I obeyed immediately. Behind me, the forest echoed with thunderous laughter. Oh, how could you do that to sweet, beautiful Countess Maragha of Murray? Hmm. Well then, it seems Robin Hood is fucking with me. <laughs> and with that, oh wait, 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 oh, nothing, something else happened. Wait, we gotta do this first. Okay, I gotta pause it. We're gonna pause it here. This is where we're gonna pause it. <laughs> so much is going on, I can barely keep up. Anyway, this has been Coming Saw Bro. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the saga of Moraga Murray. She's 23 years old now. Married to an old man, and Robin Hood is apparently an asshole. But again, we're going to find out and see what happens next time. In the, what, the fourth episode? Fourth, fifth? I don't know. I can't keep track. I'm terrible with numbers. This has been Commissar Bro. I'll see you next time.